Okay, so we're back with another episode of Learning to Drive with George. Yeah. And today, uh, last lesson we did um, sat nav driving towards the test center. Mm -hmm. um, so the independent driving. Did we do some following and some signs? Yeah, we did some sign following. Yeah, um, bit, yeah. which was good. Did I write any notes? I know, was, take that, yeah. was that it? You said, yeah, and then you said today we'll do three round. Three lane round roads. Yeah. So we went towards the test center. We went over the lot, um, that maneuver as well. We did oh, we pulling over and parking on the right. Yeah. Um, did we? Did we not do that? Oh, we did, we definitely did some maneuvers. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Was. So I think we did the parallel yeah. park and pulling over and parking on the right. Um, but mm -hmm. today's lesson, we, yes, we're going to go over the three lane roundabouts today and then um, just recap and everything else as well. But three cool. lane roundabouts is a big subject, so it will take a bit of time to talk through and, mm -hmm. and actually practice. Okay. Cool. You all set? Yeah, really. I don't have any notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Whenever you're ready, we're going to start the car and we're going to drive on. Lane, try to read the signs as soon as possible, um, and even if there's parked vehicles there, once they finish, we can always move back into them. So we, we could have used it, right? Yeah. So it said 7 to 10 a.m. Um, but to begin with, we where that car undertook us from, there was a parked yeah. car, so it would have been pointless moving into it. So, but after move parking, after, yeah. that's it. We're doing a loop. Yeah. So over, right now, as you can tell, the blue line goes back to mm. the right. So this traffic light says you can't turn right, so mm -hmm. you have to turn left. There's no right turn here, is there? Correct. So underneath the traffic lights, there's no right turn. So you're doing a left and immediate left, okay? Immediate left? Yes, please. Bear yeah. left, left one. then turn right. You can just see on the sat nav as well, yeah? Bear right. Yeah, but now look at the lanes. Which lanes turn right? Right. Both of them do. Oh, okay, right. we're sticking so this lane now. Okay. And let it say. Told me to bear right, that's why. Right. Turn right. What does bear mean? Then bear right at the end of the road, right. turn right. And but at the same time, it's most likely because you're turning right. Mm -hmm. So look at which lanes are turning right. Turn right. Because that lane eventually splits into two, and then it cut, one lane goes into that lane there, which becomes a left only. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so so I meant bear right out of these two. Yeah. So it basically said we're going to be turning right soon and keep to the right, follow the right side. We need a signal. Uh, no, because it's road going to, yeah, so you can turn it off. Now, how many lanes do you think there will be in the new road? Right, I think it was four or three. There'll be two at least, right? Because right now there's two lanes turning right, so mm. there should be at least two lanes in the new road, and there could be more, okay? So right now we're in the second lane, so we should end up in the second lane in the new road. Yeah. Okay?
space on the right side of the road. And we should stay in second gear. Okay. Okay. This one. Yeah, we're in second. Okay, that was good. Good pulling over and parking. I'm really happy with the, the way you've actually parked. It's a safe place and, the clo and you're really close to a mm -hmm. curb, not far into the road. Um, the only thing was that you started slowing down a bit too soon for this, mm, yeah? Because yeah? um, if there's cars behind you, if you haven't had got a signal on, they don't know why you're slowing down. So what you ideally want to do is do your mirrors and signal first and then start reducing your speed. Because otherwise, if you start reducing your speed and you have a motorbike behind you, they're going to decide to overtake you. Mm -hmm. But that's the side you're trying to park on. Yeah. Yeah, so just mirror signal first. And remember, you don't need to drop down to first gear. What I'd, the way I'd do this is just put your clutch down, just use your brakes and roll into this base, yeah? Rather than changing down to first gear, because if you're going into first gear, it's just going to be really slow coming in. And remember, if there's oncoming cars, you don't want to be affecting their, their flow. Mm -hmm. So you want to come over and park really quickly. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Um, now let's reverse back two car lamps and rejoin the road. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, we're just going to wait here for a moment. Just quickly talk about what the reverse in there. You looked around really well. Mm -hmm. uh, just now and again, you weren't looking in the back window. Sometimes you're just looking in your right mirror for long periods. Just make sure you, you keep keep on top mm -hmm. of looking around you, just in case you miss something. Okay, but there's one area you're not looking at all. Where? That blind spot right there. You see that car? Can you see it in your mirror? Yeah. Can you see that car? The grey car? The grey car? Yeah, this one right here. That one? Yeah. No. No, okay, so that's your blind spot. Imagine someone sitting inside that car. What, and they roll out? Yeah, and they start reversing out. Okay. Yeah, so you need to be looking over your right shoulders, okay? So there is still hazards there, and mm -hmm. you don't know what's there unless you check. Okay, so there could be a person, a car, could be someone walking to the road, and a cyclist, whatever it is. Yeah, okay? Okay. So just make sure you cover everywhere. So everywhere, everywhere else was really good, just, just your right shoulder. Okay, good, we're gonna drive on, and we're gonna pull over a park just shortly. Or actually, you know what? This is moved back forward into the space. I'm going to do the. Um, I'm going to talk about the three-lane roundabouts and get into those now. So we just done the briefing for three-lane roundabouts, and now we're going to go practice them. We're going to use the sat nav as well to um, get onto them. So we'll follow the sat nav, and I'll talk for the roundabouts at the same time. Okay. So this is just a two-lane roundabout coming up. So we're going straight ahead, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Mistakes. One, we lost our positioning as we entered Ahead. the roundabout. Keep we went right. too far to the right. So mm -hmm. we slide off in the left-hand lane. We have to stay in the left-hand lane inside the roundabout. 
And there was a car coming from your right as well when we moved up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And also we forgot to do a left signal when we were coming up. Okay. Is this the roundabout coming up? So this is still going to be a two-lane roundabout, um, but it's a really big two-lane roundabout. It's a busy one, okay? I will still talk through this one as well just to help you because it's our first kind of busy two-lane roundabout that we're going to have to deal with. Now, the bigger the roundabouts, uh, the quicker we have to enter in because the cars will be coming super After fast right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. So when you find a gap, just make your speed a little bit quicker entering it. Once you're in, you can relax after that. Positioning, good, good signal. Slightly early. Go right there. on the roundabout, third exit. Down second gear approach. Now you're trying to do those gear changes almost diagonally. Go to neutral, hit the side, and then down, yeah? Use that palming method. Obviously, you're going to go accidentally into fourth gear. What would happen then? Well, if you went into fourth yeah. gear, you'd end up stalling. Maybe oh. the wrong speed, uh, for the wrong gear. Watch people's positions and signals to figure out where they're going, okay? So you get a little bit quicker now, quicker. Okay, good. Should have went a little bit outwards, you went too straight towards the runabout. Okay, it's fine, a bit faster, in second if you can. Check your left mirrors. Check left mirrors, signal left. Good. Okay. Could have drifted over a little bit sooner as well, yeah? I wanted you to do that on your own. Yeah. Turn off your signal. Where are we going next? Look at the sign now. Turn on right. Okay, so check your mirrors, see if you can move over. Signal? Yep. Is that gap? Adjust your speed a bit faster, get into that gap. Right. After 300 yards, go right Turn on the, the roundabout, third exit. Turn it right, third exit. Now, because the traffic light's there, so most likely this is going to be a three lane roundabout, yeah? So it's two lanes at the moment, we're in the correct lane. Now as we get closer, is our lane splitting into two or not? I don't think so. No, so it's only one lane turning right, yes? That's why we a signal as well. We still need a signal, they could be going straight ahead. Uh, it's so hard to see the road now. Wait, here? Yeah, I can't see the... You'll see it as they move off. Yeah, it's just underneath the cars. This is why you should know and kind of plan with the lanes itself as well. So there's only one lane that's in the right hand lane, so there's only one lane turning right. Those guys are going straight, some of these guys are going to be going straight ahead as well. Good. So that's first exit just there. The Go exit's right on the up. roundabout, third the exit. Left mirrors, and you just drift over in, behind that taxi just like that. You check the left mirrors, make sure you're not again. Remember the drawing as well? They look the same, right? Yeah. Now we have kind of more or less passed this exit, so we could switch to a left signal here. So that tells people we're taking the next exit. Yeah, um, they get lazy, but they should be using the left signal right now. Okay? Just don't worry about other people, worry about what you need to do, okay? Now two lanes here are gonna merge straight away, so we check the right mirrors. Perfect. Third exit. 
No, she said cross the roundabout, so she thinks it's straight ahead, but if we look at the set nav, it looks like it's past 12 o'clock, so we're going to stay on the right, and we're going to use the right signal as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is this two lanes? Yeah, it's wide enough. It's cross the get roundabout, wide enough okay. third exit. The mirrors, signal right. You should be able to do this one on your own. Perfect observation, is good. Okay, so we moved over to the left too early there. Yeah. You realised? Yeah. So where you moved over was to take second exit. Yeah. We were um, taking what third? Third exit, yeah. correct. So you let, you moved over way too early. Now at that point you should have just Ahead. taken second exit. Keep but right. you didn't take it because that was a water kind of thing for Thames Water. And we had nowhere to go there. But the mistake was you moved over too early. Okay. But the good thing was that you kept looking around to know what everyone else is doing. That was a really good thing. At the end of the road, turn right. Down second. Check mirrors. Okay, be careful now. Faster. We shouldn't have overtaken. Those oncoming cars, I felt like we kind of slowed them down a little bit. We got too close to them. Um, the best thing would have been to wait until those cars had gone past, get a bigger gap, and then overtake. Yeah, and I would have used the signal if those oncoming cars. So this next roundabout is a two-lane roundabout. We're going to be turning right third exit. That's what it says on the sat-nav as well. Um, do you reckon you could do this one on your own, or do you want me to help you? I should be all right. Okay. I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing two, two lanes for a while. Yes, the only difference is this is really busy, busy, okay? Yeah. So you just have to assess the situation a bit better on the right with your observation, okay? After we'll 200 it. yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Okay, uh, 
Um, good. Last roundabout was good. Um, the only thing was you said you need to move over to the right lane. And remember, our lanes are splitting into two. Just keep to the right. You got a little bit close to that mini. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I felt that. Okay, so just remember, not all the way over, just within your lane still, yeah? Eventually it'll open up. Now, whenever you're on a dual carriageway, you should always know the next direction, yeah? So, we're going to be soon. Three quarters of a mile, we'll turn them around. Perfect, well done. So, we don't wait for her, because sometimes if it's heavy traffic, like I can see it's starting to build, uh, you may need to move over soon, okay? But this is still too early, so we'll stay ahead at the moment.
the lights gone red. We're going to turn left, so mirror signal left. So we must have stopped in second gear and forgot to put it back yeah, in the yeah. first gear, yeah? Um, however, when we moved off, we ended up stalling the car, and then you uh, you didn't put the clutch down straight away. As soon as you feel the car stalled, put the clutch down. And remember this car, if you put your clutch down straight away, it will start up again. If it doesn't start up again, you'll need to press the start button and press the start button again, okay? Just wait until the clutch, uh, once the car, uh, you put the clutch down, just make sure the car's back on by looking at the rev counter. It should be just underneath 1,000 revs. That's how you know when the car's back on. Okay. And then try to move again, okay? So we're turning left first exit. Three lane. I uh, know, so it's a traffic light control, but at the moment this section is just two lanes. But from that, that direction there and that direction there is three lanes. So it's traffic light controlled. Will, they, will we need to worry about the cars on your right when you. No. Correct. Let me have a quick look at this. Good. Keep on left, keep on left. Follow the bend. That's it. Too fast, but what does that mean? How do you approach slower? 
by braking and slowing down the car quicker. Okay. Well, so you just start slow. braking uh, sooner. Uh, yeah, but you need to just tell yourself get your speed down. Yeah. So you need to approach around 12 miles per hour, which gives you enough time to observe to the right. And when it's safe, then we can enter in. But the speed you was at, we didn't have time to look to the right. Okay. Because I didn't brake. Should I start braking sooner? Or? Yeah. And firmer. Okay. And just saying to yourself, I need to be about four car spaces away from the junction at 12 miles per hour so I can approach that speed and give myself time to look. Yep, so the whole slowing down process was too late. Now we're going to turn the left first exit this round one. Okay, so next lesson, we're going to continue with three-lane roundabouts, okay? Cool. And um, we'll try them a little bit on your own. Okay. 